Hi and welcome again with Ambraco Tutorials. As you see today, we are doing part eight. So uh, the plan is for today, we are going to do the uh, menu bar, but in different way. Why in different way? Ah, and we have already now something working. So uh, some people they like to use the nav bar uh, with external links. So, but the current solution we don't provide that things. So how we can do that? And we'll try to answer a few questions. Uh, some people they are asking a few questions, so we'll try to uh, reply them too. Uh, we'll see together what we can do. So uh, first things is we need to go to our uh, Visual Studio. Uh, if you remember, we have let me just run it first. We have done something in the uh, layout uh, to read all the. Uh, roots or everything all pages uh, under the root the root is towards the home page so if we back to the layout as you see we, we already we have written this stuff here to get me everything for the root and we have done this stuff and this one is working fine with us and everything's good but the issue we need to put external links we need to add more stuff so we have a solution sure 100% from Ambraco we can use something uh, called uh, not this one yeah you can use the multi URL pickers multi URL pickers you can choose page you can use uh, external link even you can use if you can if you want to add uh, any media uh, media media items like image or something like that you can add items in the uh, number too I think it will be something uh, useful and something fun, more fun for us to learn this. So uh, let's back to our Ambraco back office. First step is we need to add a new uh, document, uh, not a new document tab. We need to add something new tab to our uh, home page. Of course, we'll be just using in the uh, home page. We can call it uh, uh, nav settings or something like that. We can call it. So uh, after we add that, we can uh, change our code in the front end and we'll see what we can do there. So let's go to uh, settings. In the settings, uh, as we said, we need to go to the uh, home page. In the home page, we can add a new tab. Let's go to the button there. Add a new group. Let's call it nav bar well, let's call it uh, navigation uh, but navigation for yeah it's uh, it's fine not that big issue so let's call it nav links so it will be many links under this one uh, let's choose add so here we'll see that the types we have already uh, as we said, we can choose the multi URL pickers as we saw in that uh, documentation for Ambraco. Uh, something easy and good. Uh, before they use something called uh, related links, I like it, but it's not available anymore. But I'm sure uh, the multi link speaker it's fine too. So we leave the name here and they are asking you. Uh, the minimum how much you want minimum one if I think if you leave it zero it will be unlimited let's try for the maximum number so it will be unlimited you can say it's mandatory or no I think let's leave it like this so save you remember the name we call it nav links uh, after we save this one we need to back to the content and the content we add uh, the links let's suppose here so I'm leaving the last logic I don't want to delete it the navigation old logic I want to add this one too as you remember before we have add uh, uh, something in the I think not in the road because we don't need in the road I think in about page you can see that things where is it yeah add to now I will leave this one I don't I want to not remove it I will not use it too so uh, we are in the home page now. 
In the home page here, as we see now, navigation section. In the navigation, we have something called nav links. So if I press here, I can add two more or one than more. So here we have in this tool many options. As I told you at the beginning, if we need to add just links, or if we need to take choose something from our current pages, what we have, or we can choose any media item. So uh, let me first choose something we have already. We can say is about uh, submitted. So it will come here. The second option, uh, let me choose. Okay, I will add our pages first. After that, I will add something new. We have the menu. And we have, I think, the last one to be the contact page. So the contact page submitted to. So I think I didn't choose it. Good. Uh, let's back again. Contact, yeah, market. Yeah, correct. So, and now I'll, I'll try something. I will go with the let's call it HTTP. Yes, I'll go google.com. Then you can pass value with the link if you want. So, let's call it uh, Google. The target here, if you want this link to be open it in the same page or in a new page, so that's something good too. Uh, this link title, our link, link to page. I don't think we need this one, so let's submit it now. So we add Google. I'll try one more with media items. So media items, if I select, I will go to pick any of this media. I'll choose the this. Let's suppose. Okay. Select. So it will be here too. So if I save and publish this stuff. So I have done the setting stuff. I add to my uh, document type. So after that, I feed I feed the nav links. So now what I need to do, I have uh, add a few changes to my uh, home page model. So I need to re regenerate them in the settings. Uh, let's say to model builder build my model so after that uh, yeah we can this we can close this one so here now I need to change a few things at the top of the layout page uh, so here what we need to change so here we know 100% we are getting uh, data from home page what I can say, I can call my project name, which is Ambraco uh, v83 dot models dot homepage. So now the site, which will be home uh, page. Uh, I don't need to use this one anymore. I will, I will leave it here. Okay. We have the home page now. If I go to the old one, so I will just same for this one I will uh, comment this stuff here and I open new tag to write my browser code so here what we are going to do we'll write new logic to read from the new uh, nav bar or from the new uh, nav links so just me give it small rebuild so our build successful nice so what you can do now here, I can say var links. Uh, I already have object from my home page. So if I press dot, I should get something called uh, nav links. That's what I already created. So if you check now here, the data type for this one, it's I enumerable from links, Ambraco links. So if we back here in the previous page, in Ambraco documentation, how they call it here they wrote already you can call them this way it's similar it's nothing different but i prefer to use my uh, models i create object for my models uh, nothing there is no issue in this way too it's very easy and simple too uh let's back again to there so here now after we get the link so i need to check 
do I have anything inside it or no? So if nothing, I don't want to go to the second step. Oh, it will give me error. So here, what I can say, I can copy. I cause I need same styling stuff. So let's copy this one. What happened? Yeah. So we hear the layout. We have here the home page. So here the home page will be home page because I need the root ID. It's not side. We call different name now. Home page. So we are finding this one, and we have here we call it home page to get the name of the home page. And we don't have any issue with the active. So here now it will be a bit tricky. So I will remove everything inside the for each. Come on. So now here we'll call something called link in links. Okay. Uh, what we can do here. The URL it's easy. We can say links. Link URL. And the link we can get the name to. Yeah, exactly. Here what we can do with this stuff here. So we are comparing between the current model where we are and with the current item in our hand. So here we don't have the link. What we can do here, we can remove everything here. We can have it link. Uh, let's see what we have here. We can find the name, but we don't have ID. We have UDI, something hard. We don't need it now. Let's compare between the name should equal the current model name should be like this dot name yeah so if the current link name equal the model where which page we are equal this name so it be active or it will be not I think this will work with us mm, let's save what we have and we can run it and see what will happen with us it's simple way too it's not that bad so i can give the user ability to add external link he can choose even he can pick any any one of the existing pages uh, i think it's not bad uh, you can do more stuff with it i think that and it will be easier too so it's loading uh, that's great so what we have here now it something different but why we have this one we'll check this one why we have it too so we have the home page now we are on the home page if you go to about page i will if you can check the link at the bottom too yeah even it's working with the active page if you go to the menu same you can check it and if you go to the contacts and we have google so this google new if you press on google it's it's working fine but it's opening in the same page the same uh, page it's does not get anything to you so let me back to the code so as I mentioned to you before we have something we call it here where is it we can add it here somewhere the target sorry the target can equal at link dot target so if we save this one and we have to refresh our page. So and after that it should open in different page. So uh, let's try it now. If we are in the home page, we wanna now try with Google. Yeah, that's great. So it's opening a new page. Depend on the target you have specified. So I think it's not bad way, and it's easy lazy code uh, we, you can do more than this stuff with it uh, just the idea how to use it and what I want to mention something more uh, yeah uh, some people are asking a few questions so we'll answer them now so first question was about uh, some people they are asking we don't have this model models uh, folder with this classes so this is something from Ambraco uh, they have they have something called uh, model builder. So the default way when you install it, the 
Ambraco without any changing. So it will all your classes it will come in under the app data models. Under the models you will find three files. One of them big. It's contained all the classes, all the models in one class. Which one? Which I don't like it. So they have many ways to do this stuff. So you can how you can do it in spread it in uh, in a new folder or even a new a new uh, project here you can add one more project. So you need just to add the, this a few lines, the four lines. You need to enable the model builder. Just make it true. And after that, that put the model uh, models mode to app data. And you can put the directory in models. This is my directory. Where is it? The directory is this one here. It's inside my project. After that, put the directory models directory true and the namespace. Namespace important. Don't miss it. So it will be your project name and where you will put them already. It's in the models. So after I put all this stuff, I should see something in you in my settings. Uh, they should give you the model in the model builder. You should see this generate models. You should find this button here. And they say to you already everything's all everything's about it. So where it will be generated and where it will be. Uh, I think this will bring me to the end of this video. Uh, please, if you have any question, I'm more than happy to answer it. Uh, and if you have any idea, something to apply it or to do it in Ambraco, more than happy to share it with you. Uh, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.